going to talk a little more about this examination for oral nonverbal praxis problems in terms of interpreting what does that really mean. Um, I'm going to do this now, and then we're going to come back to the structural functional exam uh, using our particular child as an example. So if we have the child um, blow and they do it immediately, then we know that their score is a four and that that's not a problem. But what if they do this? I say, show me how you blow. <sighs> and they do it, but you know, they took some effort and maybe a little bit of groping. Or maybe you say, show me how you blow. <sighs> you do it. And they, and even delay a bit, or I might need to give them another example, and they do it, then they might get a, a two, and they would get a one if they never uh, achieved imitation. The cue is, though, you have to make sure they're trying. If they don't try, then you have to just do an X or some other thing you might use to show that you really couldn't judge. So let's look at what you might expect in terms of the structural functional exam for children with different disorders. If a child has phonologic impairment, you'd probably expect that strength, speed, ability to vary muscular tension, and nonverbal oral apraxia would be normal. That's what you would expect. If a child has childhood apraxia of speech, though, what would you expect in terms of strength and speed and the ability to vary muscular tension? And how about nonverbal oral apraxia? Well, Typically, if the child does not have dysarthria and only has CAS, you wouldn't expect any problems in strength, speed, or ability to vary muscular tension. And there may or may not have a nonverbal oral apraxia. So what about dysarthria? Well, I think you know by now that obviously we would expect some impairment in strength, in speed, in the ability to vary muscular tension. We wouldn't necessarily, however, expect a nonverbal oral apraxia. Of course, that's always possible, but less likely if they only have dysarthria. Because sometimes these children have uh, coexisting disorders, though, you might see different patterns. <clears throat> 